over everything in the physical realm that presides within the earth, within the soil, because the soil, the planet is alive. All right? The planet is alive. Now, when you throw chakra, you're bringing your fingers together and you're touching your thumbs. You're sitting there. Just like this. Relax, shoulders, elbows back, relax. Thumbs touching. That's your throat shot. All right? Remember, notice how your thumbs need to be touching a lot because the plasma energy. Remember, what chakra represents plasma energy? The solar plexus. That plasma energy is a version of fire. This is why it's right above the sacral chakra. Because after fire, the next highest element of fire is plasma energy. Plasma energy and fire is the same thing. Plasma is a higher version of fire. That's where your lightning bolts come from. That's plasma energy. You got that running all through you. So when you clear out that throat chakra, connecting all fingers, boom. Now, when you cleansing out the third eye, you want to connect. Take all your knuckles like that. But you take your middle finger, you stick it up. Let them touch. What's the middle finger though? Remember, water, fire. Okay? So, you tap it into the fire. You're connecting the knuckles. You're touching the thumbs. Plasma energy. You can plasma energy and a, and, and a lower version of plasma energy, which is fire. This is how you cleanse out your third eye shot. Alright? Because that fire element burns away all the electrical light cold lockdown. Why is everybody third eye closed? They pineal gland, most people. Because they've been using light cold lockdown and fluoride and shit to gel it. So you need to burn it away. The only thing that's gonna burn that light cold lockdown away is another form, another form of light, but it has to be a higher form. That's where your fire and your plasma energy come in at. That's why to cleanse your brow chakra, you gotta, that's your meditation, you like this. All, all thumbs touching, all knuckles touching, middle fingers up, thumbs touching. And when you wanna cleanse out that spiritual chakra, that whole week, like I showed y'all, uh, pinkies up. What's this pinky? Air. Why would you need air to cleanse out your, 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 your crown chakra? Because the air element is a faster vibration. That's, what's, that's where your quantum realms and your astral realms is and your spiritual realm, you're ascending up. It's going to take air to do that. You need air to do that. Okay? So that's why you pinkies up. Now, that's just the cleansing part. You want to start with that. That's a seven-week program. After you go through that seven-week program, the next step is now that you can cleanse out these chakras, now you got to use them. Okay, so we see all type of fuck shit going on on the planet, right? Okay, you know what? I want to make an earthquake. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a meditative state, set my intent, set my candles, boom. I'm like this. Water and plasma energy. And I'm, and I, and I'm in my meditative state. And now I'm talking. I'm talking to the, I'm talking to the spirit of the planet, of the land. Because this is what connects me. This mudra connects you directly to that. Because it's for the heart chakra. And what's the heart chakra? Divine cosmic love. And it connects you to the elements of the earth. So it's in this meditative state where you would connect with the earth to get whatever you need done. You don't come to the earth element and say, hey, earth, I need you to do this. You ask. I'm asking for permission to work with you with your energy. Just like when you connect with the old reach. So you connect with any cosmic force that you ask for permission. Just like you would me, or I would you. I wouldn't just walk up and say, hey, motherfucker, do this. I would ask you, hey, can you, same thing when you're working. This is what we got to get back to because they're attacking us. This is why that meditation is important. All right? Now, if you're trying to do, if you're trying to connect on a higher spiritual level, do, doing something, dealing with, you calling in your ancestors or you trying to, you trying to, a seeing deeper into your meditations where you talking with these different council of light members which exist right inside your goddamn pineal gland 
and your thalamus gland. And they showed you this in the movie Eon Flux. She took the pill, whoo, and her ass rose within her higher self, within herself, and there's a council of motherfuckers right there waiting to talk to her. That's a real thing. But that's going to require this. Now, let's just say you like, you know what? I want to cause a tsunami. I want to cause a hurricane. Because I see what they're doing to our people and our planet. We fighting back using the nature. Guess what you would have to do? What chakra would you have to tap into to do anything dealing with water? Third eye. If you want to cause tornadoes or you want to use those elements, you got to throw chakra. Anything dealing with the earth spirits, the, 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 you did, you, you, your heart chakra. You want to connect with the plasma energy? You're going to have to go solar plexus chakra. You want to use the fire? You're going to have to go sacral chakra. All right? In your meditations. But when you meditate in, remember, you got to have a deep understanding of what each finger represents. Because then that's when you get deep. You feel me? That's when you be like, you know what? I'm going all fire. Feel me? I'm going all fire. Feel me? Right, you can meditate just like this. You can meditate just like this. Because you understanding what these phalanges represent. That's a more advanced level. They ain't going to show you that on no graph on no nowhere. You go like this. You can touch it. You get more advanced. Because once you understand the basics of what these fingers really do, what they're for, it's why somebody talk with their hands, it seems not like it's a lot of power. A person to talk with their hands, they grab a lot of people, if you'll notice it. Because of what the fingers represent. It's the purpose of meditation. And then when you meditate, you want to do three a day. All right? If you slack off, it happens to the best of us. We get it. But I'm still going to teach you the right way. You should be doing it three times a day. Your first time should be in front of your ancestor altar. You need to create your ancestor altar. All right? Create your, create your ancestor altar. You do your first one, you just communicate with them. Paying homage to them. Your second one, you should be outside of nature. Unless they turned on their weather control. We still at war here. Everything ain't came down. Unless they turned on their weather making with your technology. You need to be doing that second one in nature. That third one, you can do back in the house. But each one should be for something different. So, okay, the first one, you might just be sitting playing. You coming with all, with all everything. It's like a neutral one. And you talking to your ancestors. That second one in nature, you might say, man, you know what? I'm out here in the soil. I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the earth. So let me heart chakra. Let me connect to the spirit of the planet. Let me just talk to her. Because you don't have to always go to her and say, hey, I want to start an earthquake. Sometimes you just want to go and have a conversation. Sometimes you're going for protection. Sometimes you're going to manifest things that you need. But you base that on what you're trying to do. And you base that on elements. All, sac all chakras are connected to the elements. That's what makes meditation so powerful. And it's advanced levels of it, because once you understand the basics of what these fingers do, you're a bad motherfucker, because you're going to take your meditation to the next level, because you understand that. You can sit down in your perineum, but that's only required when you work in the root chakra. You got to sit on it. If you're trying to cleanse out that root chakra, you got to sit on that ass. You got to sit on that ass crack now. You feel me? <laughs> you got to sit on that ass crack now. You hear me? But if you not working the root chakra, you can stand up. Just take your socks and your shoes off. But if you're in a position where you, you can't take your socks and your shoes off, yeah, it's rubber down there and cloth. But remember, you're a divine being. That's not going to stop what you send it out. It's not going to stop nothing you send it out. It's just when you take your rub off and the cloth off your feet and you plant them into the, the soil of the planet, you connect even more. Okay? Like a supercharge on the car. That's all it is. But being who we are, we can connect regardless. Nothing can stop that. What's most imperative is understanding the mudras and the mantras. Understanding why they move. These are your mudras. They're, all these are considered mudras. 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 The basic ones. 
losers, basically. After them seven, you can create your own because you're basing them off the, the fingers and the elements. But you, they go in order. You got to remember the order. They, it's the order that we did create, that we created in. Water, fire, then came earth or soil, then air, then plasma energy. 